When life throws curveballs, students can strike out at education. But now there's a program just as unique as their stories, designed to deter dropouts and give young adults a second chance. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl joins us live. In Brandy, about 150 students graduate from Omaha Public Schools' Accelerate program every year. 150 lives change from all walks of life who say without it, they might have given up. Eat on time. That's a lot of stuff. At a glance, this classroom looks pretty traditional, but the students in it are far from it. I moved around, got kicked out when I was 16, and I ended up moving here. This is a rare look inside their Accelerate classroom. Young adults who gave high school a shot until life got in the way. Like Adrian Rubio, he dropped out to work in a slaughterhouse. I thought that working would be a lot better. You know, might as well work now and get paid now while, you know, you're still young, you still have the chance. Every student's story a little different, but what they have in common is here they get a do-over. And when I ask my students, would you be in school if Accelerate was not an option, many, many times they tell me no. Dr. Sherry Cook is the program director, and she knows timing impacts a high school career, like unexpected pregnancies or needing to go to work to support a family. But she also knows time changes a person. I watch students change their lives every day. Every three-week term, we have students who have finish their high school diploma. In traditional high school, teens take eight classes for months. In Accelerate, it's one intensive course for weeks. And for students like 19-year-old Cyan Thorne, the school years fly by. But I'm almost done. I should be graduating. I'm going to be graduating before May. Cyan got pregnant in high school with twins. Now they're the reason she went back to school. I feel like I'm, I made so much progress. So much, so much within myself and within just being here, being a student. Just like her classmates turning stories of struggle into stories of success. I know that I'm proud of myself and I know that my family's proud that I'm coming back and giving it a second try. I'm, I'm very proud of myself for sticking to it. Now, all the students that we talk to say college is the next step. And again, they're earning diplomas here, not GEDs. There's a waiting list to get into Accelerate. To learn more or to get involved, just go to KETV.com. Back to you. Christina, thanks. Tonight, deputies in Pottawatomie County have a coin collection that likely means a lot to someone. They just don't know who it belongs to. KETV News.